Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creed. Today we'll be going over the uh, event that has, was just released the other day. Um, it's not the best, um, we'll get to that in a moment, but real quick I did want to mention I actually made a mistake in my last video. I thought I had predicted Musashi's matchmaking tier correctly, however they still put it at about tier 9. It, it's 8.8, .8, but there's really no difference. Um, I had expected this to be a tier 8 ship, believe it or not, um, mainly because the lack of anti-aircraft defense and also the lack of 460 millimeter overmatch, which would understandably make it a tier 9 or higher. However, without the overmatch, it's pretty much just like 16 inch guns that just do more damage and have a longer reload. Um, so that is interesting to say the least. And like I said, those that point two of a matchmaking difference is not a lot. I guarantee you that. Um, real quick before we go, new ships. So I did try Musashi. She's okay. Um, not actually as good as I expected her to be. I did make her a full secondary build, as I did say I would. Um, but with mixed results, but I have only had one game with her, so there's still room to improve there. Uh, I have played London. Um, this is actually a really fun ship, believe it or not. Um, really enjoyable. And I have not tried the carrier yet. Uh, have not gotten around to it because I'm just not a carrier person, so not really a big rush there. And then the new France camo, I have played it. I mean, the ship itself is still the same. Did they fix the... Uh-huh. Yet yeah, there was a small little update I had to do before I started recording. And they fixed some of the guns, but not the ones that were important, I guess. I don't know. Uh, that turret's incorrect. That one's backwards. And those are also incorrect. <laughs> so, well, they'll get it at some point. All right. So, today, event... Um, they took an existing event and made it even harder. So we have the K-001 space station. Uh, if you remember that, we've fought that before. Um, ironically, in the event that I talked about just the other day, it was the, the one where you were in space and you were just floating around. There's no water or anything like that. It was really, really cool. I do really enjoy that event. However, it's there's a lot of enemies you have to deal with. Uh, and you possibly actually want a good secondary ship, so something like France or H-42. Uh, those would definitely work better because the space station is really, really weak to uh, secondary damage or, well, HE damage in general or continuous DACA. Um, but the rest of the ships that you have to go up against are pretty substantial. I did play it solo. Um, I did not beat it solo, but I did get pretty close, actually. Um, but they took the space station and they added the missiles. So occasionally we will have like the, um, the super carriers or like the, the modern destroyer missions or, or events. We've seen those a couple times. They launch missiles at you, the Muskvits or whatever they are. Um, those hurt and they don't really miss all that often, if at all. So we have a space station that has lasers, just like the UFO. Now, yes, it does. It also has missiles, and it also has a pretty sizable health pool and a lot of escorting enemies as well. So actually beating this solo is probably pretty impossible, if you ask me. Um, That is the everyday challenge. There are apparently other stages to unlock. I also don't know what these tickets do yet because in order to play the everyday challenge you have to use the fuel. So we're going to see if we can get a team and we're going to see if we can beat it. Okay uh, it is a pretty late hour where I am and usually that's not the best when trying to get a team. Uh, so we're gonna try it solo. Like I said I doubt I will actually win. But we'll see. So we have K-001, as mentioned. We have two Frances, a Musashi, a Virginia, Ashitaka, which is uh, an Amagi, Indiana, which is a Massachusetts, 
Warrior, a Seattle, London, and a Selfridge. I actually never saw the Destroyer. Well, no, I did see the Destroyer last game. I take that back. It only showed up near the end, though. Alright, so what we're going to try first is work over the space station and ignore the rest of the bots. Because I feel like that might be the strategy to go with. Last time I worked on the other enemies, and then when I was in a position to actually work over the space station, I was the only one left on my team. Uh, my team consisting of four Montanas and one H42, which is not terrible, but still. Um, I was left at the space station and three other battleships, and I had to, I used, what are going here? Uh, I was bow tanking towards the three other battleships, and then the space station just kept firing lasers at me and missiles, and I could do absolutely nothing about it. Uh, yes, I do see Warrior. I am not too worried about it. She's really not that big of a threat right now. Her torpedoes are the most threatening thing, and I'm out of range. There's Ashitaka. There's Indiana. One of the Frances. Ooh, we saw lasers. Yep, there we go. I don't think the space station moves very fast, nor do I know... I don't know if it has a heal either. I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to try and work over the space station first. And I'm not sure if I should use armor piercing or high explosive. So we're starting off with high explosive. That does seem to do damage. Let's switch to armor piercing and see if that does any more damage. There's also a cheeky little Seattle over here. Might have to just delete her real quick. Alright, so Masashi is actually pushing here. That was pretty good damage. Alright, we have armor piercing loaded. Let's see if that makes any difference. Just wait. Um, I feel like we had a lot of overpens there. So we're going to actually switch back to high explosive. I don't think we're going to get any fires on her, but that's okay. Um, my secondaries are opening up on the Seattle. Not too worried about her, but she will shoot down my plane. So I'm going to bring that back in. All right, there goes Seattle. Um, uh, yeah, Musashi is actually damaging the space station. No, it actually looks like she just separated. And we're actually going to start turning around because all the other battleships are coming this way. And I don't really want to deal with them right now. We might actually get out of range of the K001, so we might have to actually deal with these other ships for a little bit. Good thing about Borgogne is that she is pretty fast. So we're just gonna keep heading this way. And I think I made a mistake because I overturned too much. But, no, alright, there we go, we saved it. Secondaries are working over London. I don't really know if that's actually going to do that much. Actually, it is doing some pretty decent damage. Okay. I will take that, definitely. And I don't think that fire was on K001. I'm pretty sure it was on London. We can check that. Yeah, there's a fire on her. I might actually sink her with secondaries. That's interesting. Alright, K001. What's my range? 23.8. We're just... Out of range, there she is. It is taking quite a while to work her down. Is she healing? Oh, she does have a heal. That's upsetting. This is a mission you would best want to use a team with. So you could just focus fire the, the space station. 
I, I do not have that luxury right now, however. But we are going to try and work her down as fast as possible. Um, there is only part of us left, so this is definitely going to be a defeat. But I'll at least show you what you're up against. And yeah, I did try and work over the rest of the bots in the last mission. Just to see if I could get rid of those. That way I would only have the space station to deal with. But like I said, that did not work either. Now H42 will last pretty long. So we do have a little bit of time to deal with the space station. But I don't think it'll be enough to actually sink her. So I'm pretty sure she's still healing. Yeah, she is. Is it a continuous heal? We have seen that before, and it, it sucks, actually. Because she hasn't stopped healing yet. I am still out damaging her heal, but I can't keep that up long enough for the... Yeah, the H42 is actually getting wrecked right now. And then it'll be my turn. I think you can Citadel the K001 if you aim like right here at the very center of it. However, I do not have the accuracy for that right now. And I am also the last one on my team, yet again. Cool. Um, and I have ships on all three sides of me, so I can't really angle towards any one of them. I guess if, yeah, see, I'm just going to get Citadel left and right. I already lost 40,000 damage. And here comes the missiles. Yep, can't do anything against those. It does look like it is a continuous heal as well. I'm already past half HP, and I've only been shot at like a handful of times. This is why you need a team. Kind of annoyed, actually, at this event. If, what was that hit? I just lost, like, 15,000 damage for no reason. Yeah, see, I'm just gonna die here. Waste of my time. Alright, yeah, so, um... The event. Not a fan. The space station... Yeah, I'm just gonna die. I'm not even gonna try. Uh, they can't hit me, so I guess I will shoot back. Uh, yeah, Space Station was fine the way she was before. Uh, she did not need to have any changes made to her, nor does she need so many, you know, escorts. She was fine the way she was, honestly. And there we go, cool, finally. Uh, yeah, so that is the event. Not a fun event. And then, like I said, you can't even play the extra levels until you actually pass the, um, the first one. So I don't know what those have yet. But there you go. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe for further content. And maybe I'll show you the next um, missions in the next video. Maybe I'll just go straight to Marquette with uh, the new Richelieu with the Iowa turrets. Who knows? Uh, we'll see what happens. But as of right now, thank you for watching and have a good day.